delicious. Ah, the French Riviera. What was it? A year ago? <laughs> Look at you, smiling, happy as a lark. My marriage crumbling all around me and I'm pretending life was great. Nonsense. You were enjoying yourself. I was enjoying Paul. He's a good kid. Where is he? Late. He's so busy with all his new friends. We were uh, secretly relieved. How's that? Well, with all the moving around we've been doing, he's becoming a bit of a loner. It's nice to see him having some fun. Ten countries in ten years, that's a lot of change for anybody, especially a kid. I know. But Paul adjusts, you know, he's just that kind of a boy. He's sensible, responsible. He's his father's son. A mother's pride? With the straight A's? You bet. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, are if I could just have your attention for just a moment, thank you. We'd like to start the proceedings in five minutes, so if you could just please take your seats. Thank you very much. Where on earth is Paul? He is going to miss the whole thing. Jim. Jim. Uh, please run up here, Paul. Oh, let me. Please, I'd like to surprise him. He'll like that. His room is on the third floor. It's his private little retreat where he can play all his horrible music. Paul! Prepared, Paul? Yes, sir. Then bear witness. You will concentrate the full force of your energy on the act your friends are about to commit. Yes, sir. Say, Satan, I love you. Satan, I love you. And repeat after me the words that will mark you in blood and evil with the sign of the beast. In the name of Satan. In the name of Satan. Ruler of the earth. Ruler of the earth. King of the world. King of the world. I command the forces of darkness to bestow their infernal power upon me. I command the forces. Forces of darkness to bestow their infernal power upon me. Open wide the gates of hell. Got it? And why the Stop. gates of hell? And come forth from the abyss to greet me as your brother and your friend. And come forth from the abyss to greet me as your brother and friend. That piece of cake, Paul, was fantastic. <laughs> Here, Rick. That's for bringing a new brother to us. <laughs> Satan smiles on all his children. I saw him 20 or 30 minutes ago. He was fine. And then he came back here. Look, can we just think a minute before we rush out to call the police? Why? Michael, he's been kidnapped. I know it. What if he's pulling a prank? A prank? Look at his room, Lawrence. This isn't Paul. I know my own son. He wouldn't do anything like this. Something has happened. Call his friends. Maybe he's with them. We've been so busy. I am. Uh... God, Michael, I don't even know their names. You know what this is? Satanic Bible, what the hell is this? I found it here. Well, it's obviously a joke, Michael. Paul doesn't read this stuff. You mean you don't think he reads that sort of stuff? I mean, I've never seen him read junk. Then you're sure this isn't his? Michael, right now, I'm not sure of anything. What does it mean? Michael, tell me what it means. Satanism has been around for a long, long time. And that's what this is. It's in books, music, movies. It attracts a lot of people, especially kids. A cult? No, I didn't say cult. They exist, but maybe this is something else. Listen to me, Michael. I know Paul. He wouldn't fall for such idiocy. Kids love this scary stuff, the secrecy, the excitement. And they take a lonely kid and they make him feel like he belongs. Well, that's fine. That's just a fine theory, but that's where it falls apart. You see, Paul is not a lonely kid. Paul is gone. 
His room is full of weird things, and you don't know his friend's phone number. Call the police. It's all right, Fox. I'm just going to be a little longer than I thought. Something's come up. You can handle it, Fox. Just forget that she's a rock star. Forget that she has a hit video. Just think of her as any other 15-year-old kid that happens to make a couple of million bucks a year. Net. Mrs. Beck, you her mother? Her mother. <laughs> I love her. This kid hasn't seen her mother in years. She's in the slammer. Kill the guy. Me? I'm her agent. If you ever need a ticket reservation when you're in town, you name it, you got it. Thank you. Now, I'd like to see her sweet. Her sweet? Yes. Is that it over there? Mrs. Beck, first things first. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, Herb, come here a minute, darling. Shake hands here with Foxy. She runs the joint. Foxy, this is in person purple vomit. Purple vomit. Nice. Really nice. Well, do you prefer to be called purple or vomit? Well, my fans call me perp. Are you a fan? Not yet. Come on, Foxy, let's give the place a once over. Michael Terry, I'm gonna wring your neck. Voodoo over here, channeling, sells like hotcakes. And back there is what you're looking for. Devil worship, do it yourself, kids. And I mean it sells. Hey, did you ever think I'd be a businessman? No, Teddy. I thought you'd be a shepherd. <laughs> Ritual abuse. The history of satanic worship. A lot of kids come in here. Kids, adults, blow you away if you sell buys and stuff. I mean, 50 bucks says you don't know what this is, huh? Cute little chachka. This, my friend, is... Pazuzu, big magic, very powerful. They use it in rituals, sometimes need blood. They use a scapegoat, an animal, maybe even a human. You see this? The upside down star? That's a pentagram. Heap big medicine, you know, kind of spit in the eye at the old Holy Trinity. And this? Satanic Bible? Hey, is this yours? No, it belongs to a friend. Mainline stuff, you know, the rituals, the chants, heavy. See the number? 666, Mark of the Beast. It's supposed to scare the hell out of you. You sell a lot of them? It's always on reorder. It's a big mover. Hey, check this out. Black candles. I can't keep enough in stock. You know, this high priest, he comes in, he orders a gross at a time, a bucket of candle. That's 100% markup, man. What high priest? Well, you know, a guy. What's his name, Teddy? Hey, you know, it's a figure of speech, you know, a guy. Ted, his name. Geez, Michael, do you know what you're getting into? I mean, these guys are real bad apples. Okay, there's this school teacher, retired. His name is Alistair Kradich. You know, shows up every couple of weeks, keeps to himself. I'll check the bills, get his address, but it's just between us, right? You and me and the devil. Real. This is it? This isn't a hotel. This is a dump. I never would have booked her here. You didn't, a judge did. Now, find us a decent room. This just isn't our kind of place. Don't worry, honey. You're gonna love it here. I'm gonna find you a fabulous I place. I can't. Goodbye, Mrs. Beck. See you in 30 days.
Messengers of doom to slash with grim delight this victim I have chosen. That this a thing. Take the sacrificial blood. Mm. connecting this Craddock guy to those satanic robberies. Nobody ever reports an adult male on the scene. Well, file a complaint against child abuse. I'd testify. Is the victim willing to testify? I'm not sure. That'll get you a big fat zero. At least it's a start. Okay, file a complaint. We'll pick it up when we get back, see what we can dig up. Thanks, Max. Okay, now, wait. What do you think you're doing? That's no way to get off a horse. Where are you going? Paul! Paul! What's going on here, Michael? Why is he running away from he's us? He's afraid to talk about it. But we're here to help let him. Let me talk to him, Michael. And he's scared and he's confused right now. That's why I want you to let him stay here a little longer. But I just can't leave him here like that. This Alistair Craddock guy is very clever. He knows how to manipulate children, especially kids that seem to have everything. He knows what they want well, and wait, he gives Wait a minute here. You're making it sound like we've been denying Paul. I'd do anything for him. You know that. Well, work with me. We're on the same side. The priest sold him a bill of goods and he bought it. All of a sudden, he's got friends and a purpose. Well, you sure look dumb on a horse. Did you ever ride before? No. How come you're here? Did you rob a bank or something? 
You know what I did? I busted up a hotel room. <sighs> Gee, you're really exciting to know, you know? I could OD in excitement just talking to you. Okay, baby. Oh, baby. I'd be only too happy to help you, but <laughs> I'm afraid you've been fed some far-fetched notions. Now, of course, some people have got nothing better to do with their time to just spread foolish gossip. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Look at this. Look at that. this. You know, when my wife was alive, she'd have had my head if she saw her like that. You never saw such a woman for cleanliness. She died in 79. Oh, there's not a day goes by, I don't think about her. God rest her soul. Now, if, uh, if there's anything else... I think that'll be all, Mr. Craddock. Oh, fine. Okay, can I offer you gentlemen some lemonade? I just made it fresh. Well, find her own way out. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Come back anytime. You okay? No. no. Shift your weight a little. Put it on your shoulders. No, on your shoulders. It's all in the balance. You know who loves paddling? Canoeing? Your dad. Maybe we can get him out on a trip this summer. He won't take time off. Should we ask? Yeah, you can ask. Then he'll say yes, and then he'll cancel. I bet he's paying you just a ton of money to be nice to me, isn't he? Hmm. Nobody pays me a ton of money for anything, especially to be nice. Nice isn't for sale. Yeah, well, but you just got me up here to tell you stuff. No. I just thought that maybe when you're an old fogey like me, you might like to have some good memories to look back on. You got any good memories? Like of what? I don't know. When you're a kid, like uh, when you're two. Two? Who can remember when there were two? I can. I can remember when I was five. Why five? Well, I was supposed to go to a private school, and I got the chicken pox and stayed home. Who looked after you? The maid. You know what I do for memories? I put them down on a tape recorder. That way I can never forget them. Come on, let's try it again. You don't remember anything good. No. No. How's that? Comfortable? No. This thing is heavy. Why are we doing this? <laughs> it's a nice little lake right over that mountain. Oh, in the balance. Oh. Emperor Dad, Lucifer and the rebellious spirits, I call upon give you. It to me. <laughs> Emperor on, Lucifer, little creepos calling you. Come on, Satan boy, get the book. <laughs> Emperor, he's gonna get you, Spo. He's calling me. you, Lucifer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, all right. Now. We lay off. You got a major screw loose. What's this? It's mine. Well, you can have it. I just want to know what it is. The Book of Shadows. High Priest calls it the Grimoire. Keep all my wishes in it. <laughs> See? I told you he's bonkers. Tony, this is Paul's private business. Booga, 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 booga. Can it? Paul. Do you remember? 
I told you that I put my memories down on tape. Well, I want you to try it. If you think up a good one, put it down. I'll leave it there. Lights out in ten minutes. What do you think a horse's blood is? Is it sick or something? A horse's blood is red. You know, Everybody's blood is red. That's Satan's. Satan's blood is black. Oh, give me a break. Who told you that? You just pretend you don't know, but you know all about it. You're one of us. One of who? But you know exactly what this means. Live and die. Take what you need. Don't beg, don't pray. Just let me bleed. <laughs> that is garbage. I hear it on my tape recorder. All the rock and roll groups. Satan talks to me in those songs. Yeah, well, how come you don't talk to me? You know, I don't get it. You're supposed to be real smart. Tony says your old man's loaded. You got no pressure. What's eating you? Do you remember when you were five? Can't you are right. Five? Five, yeah. When I was five, my old man beat up my mom, and then he left us. And... So she cried, and so I cried too. I don't even remember her laughing. That's what I remember, okay? My mom crying her eyes out. How, how can you... I mean, you're always kidding about it. Yeah. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Kill myself? I'm not exactly smart, but I'm not stupid, you know. Guess what? I know Paul from school. Rick. Rick Howard. I... Well, anyways, uh, well, we heard about about what happened, and I, I thought I'd just write him and, and let him know that we were all thinking about him, you know? Know that we all missed him and everything. Okay, just a second. Okay. R, R, one. All right, yeah, I got it. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mrs. Cannon. All right, bye. Mm -hmm. I don't like him. I don't trust him. Talks about weird things. Perks a regular cream puff compared to him. At least he's talking, Fox. He's coming around. We've got to give him a chance. He's trouble. Mark my words. And I wish he'd stay away from my horses. Let's go. I got it. Good one, good one. Two. one. Yeah. Keep it going, keep it going. What's the matter? Would the kid too good for you, Tony? Wanna see him freak him out? Come on, Let's go. Woo! Good one, look at it. Okay, Paul, come on. Come on, Paul. What's the matter? Where are you going? Okay, Paul, come on. What's wrong? You know what he's like? <laughs> no, it was stupid. Tony, get over here. How did this get on here? <laughs> it was just a joke. Yeah? Well, I want you to tell him that. I want you to tell him the truth. Come on. You might be hungry. Tony.
Tony admitted that he painted the three sixes on the ball. It wasn't Satan. It wasn't the priest. It was Tony. He thought you might get a laugh out of it. Paul, you freaked because of a pen mark on a ball, nothing more. Your priest is a fraud. He's got powers like I got powers in my left foot. It's not true. I know all the things that he can do. What can he do? Can he fly? He says he could do just about anything if Lucifer helps him. And, and you don't have to beg or pray like in a church. With Satan, you just tell him what you want and you get it. Want a fried egg sandwich? It's good. Ketchup on it and everything. It's good. Try it. My dad used to make these. Uh huh. Yeah. Once on my birthday, I flew home from school. The maid was off. And my dad made me a fried egg sandwich with melted cheese and ketchup. Just like this. That must have been nice, huh? Just you and your dad? Yeah, it was. Fried eggs. Sounds good. You should put that one on tape. Ketchup, 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 Soup, it is a delicacy. It simmers all night long. Do you know how long I work to make something lovely for these uncouth little given peanut butters? You say they gotta eat. Freeze the soup, we'll eat it later. Uh, uh, peanut butter. Uh, Can we go for Chinese? Yeah! Michael, I don't feel so good. Just your stomach, huh? Yeah, but it's awful. Just like those guys. I better call the doctor. No fever. Just sick to a poor little stomach. Ah, busy. I'm extremely careful. I only use the freshest ingredients. Nobody's saying it was the soup. Everybody ate it, only the kids got sick. Oh, I feel like I swallowed a chainsaw. It's my fault! The priest said that Satan was going to find me here, and he's here now. I know it. Paul, calm down. It's not Satan. That's it. It's the ketchup. They poured ketchup in it. They poured ketchup in everything. Ketchup is like blood, and Satan uses blood. Paul, are you serious? What if he's right? What if he's telling the truth? Paul is just scared, and there's nothing to be scared well, of. But what if Satan really is here? It's probably just a touch of the flu. I'll call the doctor, and I'll get this tested. Believe me, he's here. Calm. Paul. Stay calm. He's here now and he's gonna, he's gonna get us all. There's tobacco and a rustica in the ketchup. What? Tobacco. The doctor sent syrup of Ipecac for the kids. Cece, get rid of everything that was delivered yesterday. I mean everything. Dump it. Soccer blue, the boy was right. Somebody's out to get us. I think that somebody's right under our noses. It's Paul or I eat my spurs. We can't prove that, Fox. I'll say it one more time, Michael. The kid's trouble. Hello? Hi, Ellie. Yeah, Paul's fine. All the kids had a bit of an upset stomach earlier, but they're okay now. No, nothing came for Paul. What? 
You gave a strange kid this address? That was wrong, Ellie. I want you to hang up the phone and call the police right now. Tell them what you just told me. Yes, we'll handle things from this end. Okay, bye. Oh, my gods of the pit. I command that these things of which I speak shall come to pass. Those who interfere with the devil's interest will be delivered by Satan's messenger. Repeat! Hail to Satan's messenger. Hail to Satan's messenger. Hail to Satan's messenger. Hail to Satan's messenger. What are you doing? Garlic. Mm -hmm. Didn't you see Dracula? Garlic keeps evil spirits away. Well, it can't hurt, can it? Blood, Michael. Anybody who would do this is certifiably insane. I want that kid off the ranch tonight. It couldn't have been Paul. He said he was with Tony all night. I don't care if he was with the Queen of England. Who else could have done it, for God's sake? Another kid or a high priest? I don't see any priest. All I see is crazy Paul. Talks about blood and guts till the cows come home. That's not true. He's stark, raving mad. Who else knows about 666? Who else even cares? He had his eye on my horses from day one. I knew it. Somebody else could be here. Paul's here. That's all I know. Michael, you know I love the ranch. And you know that I'd stick by you through thick or thin. This is too thick even for me. Kid ought to be put away. Either he goes or I go. It's him or me. I swear I didn't do it. Honest, I didn't. I want the truth, Tony. Everybody makes mistakes. If you made one, okay, don't make another one. A lot of people are very upset and very angry about this. I swear, Michael. I never touched those horses. Go to sleep. Watching you, I see your every move. I listen when you speak. I hear the lies you tell. You have betrayed your master, and the demons are insane with fury. Here is what you must do look under his precious Bible. There is blood on the dagger, it is fresh from animal sacrifice. Take the dagger in your hand and kiss it. Say, I love you, Satan. 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 I love you,
you, Satan. Listen carefully and obey. For Satan's punishment is to burn in hell. With this dagger from Satan's left hand, you will murder our enemy, Michael Terry. You will kill Michael Terry. You will do this, or you will die. Turn that thing off. I'm sleeping. tape recorder. He said I have to do something with this. Something bad. Get real. You don't have to do anything some Dumbo tells you to do on a tape. That's crazy. What did he say? What are you gonna do, Paul? Okay, Paul, I don't like this. Give me the knife. No! He's here! Who's here? He's watching me! I have to do this! watching you for days. The high priest was right. You're a coward. But I can't obey him. It's better if I died. Look, don't be a fool. Satan sent me to help you. Help me? Yeah, that's right. Hey, hey we're in this together. Hey, Satan, Satan doesn't want your life. He wants Michael Terry's. I can't. I know, I know. That's why I'm here. Yeah, I'm your friend. I'm gonna help you. Satan doesn't want you to do it all by yourself. I mean, we're gonna do it together. We're gonna kill Michael Terry. We've been looking everywhere for you. I've been right here. Well, we gotta talk. I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Take your time. No one's pressuring you. 
You're safe here. I want you to know that. Michael, look out! You little coward! You'll burn in hell for this! Hello, Master. It's Paul. Yeah, yes, sir. We we did exactly what Satan wanted. Yeah, in Rick City, call you tomorrow. The thing is, sir, I need a blessing, cause cause I'm kind of nervous. Tonight, tonight would be great. I love you, Satan. I had to say it. Otherwise, he'd just close. You did good, Paul. Follow the dark paths of evil. Blessed is he. Fill us with your eternal power. Nema, Nema, Nema. Rise to us, O Satan. Make us your faithful. Nema, Nema, Nema. In celebration of human sacrifice, Paul will take this dagger and perform with grim delight. Name of Lucifer and all. Hearken, all dim and shadowy things. Twisted, half seen creatures glimpse through the eyes of those who worship at Satan's You want kids to believe in the devil? Well, now's your big chance. Show us your stuff. Well, come on. Throw some fireballs. Tell Satan to blow us up. Go ahead. Take my life. But you can't, can you? Because you're a cheat and a fraud, and you can't even save your own pathetic hide. Tell it to the judge. I've heard enough. Oh, I don't know. I was enjoying the memories. Fried egg sandwich, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember I burned the eggs. I never was much of a cook. I didn't really mind it. Well, that's because I smothered it with ketchup and cheese. Michael, you got any eggs? I'm sort of in a cooking mood. Sure. Really? 
You mind burned eggs? No. This time, I think I'll skip the ketchup. 